My name is uh, Yasunori Ueda. Uh, I'm a director of the cardiovascular division in Osaka National Hospital in Osaka, Japan. Uh, I've just presented my talk here in the 21st World Congress on Heart Disease held in Boston. And the title of my talk was uh, Prevention of Acute Myocardial Infarction by the Aggressive Approach to Treat Unstable Angina. Uh, the number of acute MI patients is still increasing in Japan, and we need some new uh, strategy to reduce it. And as, as you may know, the acute MI occurs by the rupture of the plaque and the thrombotic occlusion of the coronary artery. However, uh, not so many knows that it takes time from the rupture of the plaque to the onset of acute MI, uh, and sometimes uh, between these two points, some uh, patients uh, suffer their chest pain, and that is, that is the unstable angina, or we should say pre infarction angina. And we can treat the patient at this stage more safely and prevent them from suffering acute MI. So uh, we just started the uh, Stop MI campaign uh, as the project of the Japanese Circulation Society. Uh, as I proposed this, uh, I became a leader of this project. And uh, what are appealing people uh, by this campaign is that uh, acute MI patients have the high probability of dying. It's about 40%. And majority of them uh, occurs, majority of the death occurs before hospitalization. So, although their uh, in hospital death is very low, uh, below 10%, uh, so uh, we should treat the patient before they suffer acute MI. And half of the patients who suffer acute MI uh, have had experience the chest pain, and that is pre-infarction angina. So we can treat uh, these half of their, their acute MI patients before uh, suffering it. So the campaign uh, tell, are trying to uh, give message to people that uh, the probability of their acute MI patients to die is very high, as high as about 40 percent, and although their uh, in-hospital death rate is very low, as low as about 10 percent, uh, and uh, however the patients uh, often have their pre-infarction angina. And at this stage, we can treat uh, patients very safely. And so don't miss the sign of pre-infarction angina, and please go to hospital at this stage. So what is the sign of the pre-infarction angina? Mm, it's typically chest pain, and not so much different from the, the symptom of the acute MI, but sometimes it's very weak, so it's expressed as chest discomfort or chest heartburn, or uh, just oppression. So uh, the biggest difference between the symptom of the chest pain, uh, symptom of the acute MI is its duration. Uh, in case of acute MI, the duration of the symptom is more than 20 minutes or 30 minutes, uh, maybe much longer. However, the symptom of this pre-infarction angina is only for a few minutes. So uh, patient didn't uh, think it's so serious and don't go to hospital. But it's a very serious problem. Uh, if you can treat at this stage, and you can prevent from suffering uh, acute MI. So uh, although we've just started this campaign in Japan, mm, and we haven't yet decided how to uh, do this campaign precisely, uh, we may use TV or we may use uh, many town meetings, uh, and also uh, will educate students or children at school. Uh, we have to have um, a big support from companies to do this uh, big uh, project. Uh, so uh, let's do together uh, this project. If uh, the situation is the same in the other countries, I hope you in the other countries uh, do the same project. 